Hi everyone, this is Dr. Kim, America's Holistic Foot Doctor. In this video, you meet my patient, whom I have not seen for over a year and a half. She's wheelchair bound and has a tremendous amount of swelling in her legs. Let's see how I can help her. I have Elisa here today. She, I haven't seen her well over almost a year and a half now, so these nails are very thick and painful. She also has a lot of swelling, as you can see on her legs. These are really swollen and painful. So she's on some blood pressure medicine, but it's not helping her. So I suggested maybe trying the, um, um, like the water pills, which may help. It doesn't help everybody though, unfortunately, uh, to reduce some of the swelling because when there's too much swelling, it could be quite painful. So, so I suggested for the swelling, a lot of people ask me a lot about the swelling. So obviously number one thing that all of us need to do is to move more. When you don't move, your veins don't work because there's no, you know, muscles to push the um, blood back to the heart. So your exercise or movement would uh, make the vein work and push the fluid back to your heart. But when you're not moving a lot, especially Alisa's in the wheelchair, so she's not getting a whole lot of walking or exercise. So this is kind of an ongoing problem for her. So I did recommend maybe um, getting a compression stocking, which will be helpful to compress the uh, fluid out of this area. But the problem is she has a uh, caregiver and it's very difficult to put this um, compression stocking on and off. So when that happens, uh, it will be very difficult uh, to put the compression stocking on and off. So you need a really good help. So if that cannot happen, then, then I would recommend getting like an ACE bandage and it, which is a little easier to put on and off and have um, the caregiver uh, work on the um, putting on the uh, ACE bandage on and off because this swelling is dangerous because it can make the uh, skin very weak. The prolonged swelling um, can make the um, skin very thin and it can open up and cause a venous ulcer, also we call it. And I see the problem quite often. So it's a big problem when there's um, uh, persistent swelling. And she has a congestive heart failure issues, uh, which is what's making her uh, retain water and her, because her heart's not working too well. So that really needs to be worked on. So overall, it's a difficult situation because she um, cannot uh, be active due to her problem and not being able to be on her feet to, to walk more. So I highly recommend everybody start walking more to get the exercise in to reduce swelling of both lower extremities and um, use ACE bandage or compression stocking to get the fluid out of this area because having the fluid for a long time is very dangerous uh, for the skin which will thin out and open up and cause infection and all kinds of other issues that I see all the time so highly recommend uh, moving more number one if you cannot then you need to use compression stocking or ace bandage to get the swelling out of this area as much as possible because they can cause all kinds of um, infection and ulcers and very dangerous situation for her. So I already told her uh, family about the whole thing. So hopefully they'll be able to do that. And also come see me more often because I haven't seen her for almost a year and a half. So uh, it's very important for her to come see me more often so we can keep these nails down and be able to help her this way. Hi, it's me again. Hope you've been enjoying this video so far. If you have, leave the word swan legs in the comments below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You okay, Alyssa? Is it painful? You okay? You tickles? Okay. So as long as you're not in pain.
So we'll get it down as much as I can and hopefully we'll get her back in a few months to keep it down again because I don't want to do too much because it could be painful and This nail is really thick, so I'm trying to keep it down a little to prevent any problems on these things. Also, probably we'll send some samples out for testing as well. So that uh, possibly there's a fungus infection here as well, so we'll definitely keep an eye on it. I asked the family to talk to her primary doctor to see if a water pill would be helpful for her for the, to reduce the swelling. So I already shared that idea with the family. And so hopefully either modify the blood pressure medications or other heart medications to be able to help this condition better. But it's just too bad that she's not active and she's on a wheelchair at this point. So it's not unfortunate at this time. So she can't really increase them. Um, circulation, especially the vein circulation going back to the heart is a little problematic due to the inactivity. You okay, Alita? Feels okay? okay. Her skin is so weak, so I have to be really careful not to cut her. So I'm very cautious so that I don't make any room for her. But she needs, definitely needs to come more often due to all these issues that she has. So hopefully she'll be able to do some of these things to help her swelling on the both legs. The swelling can be quite numbing or painful for people, so it's, it's a good idea to keep the swelling down as much as possible. So. Okay, very good. Okay, Lisa, thank you for allowing us to film you today, okay? Okay. <laughs> thank you for watching my video. As you can see in this video, she has a tremendous amount of swelling in her legs due to her medical conditions. Unfortunately, she is wheelchair bound and not able to walk. This weakens her veins and worsens her swelling. We all need to walk more daily to prevent these future problems. Until then, be educated, get empowered, encourage others today.